four pound thrust thermojet. The thermojet is a valveless pulse jet engine, which means it has no moving parts. It's all stainless steel, made from 20 gauge, so it's plenty heavy duty to stand up to long static tests. It's uh, 21 and a half inches long, and the combustion chamber is about three inches in diameter. It has two intakes, and the fuel injector goes to each intake. It's just a 1 8 inch stainless fuel injector line. You have a spark plug on the end of the combustion chamber, which you use to fire it up. And at the end here, we have a, a 2 inch thrust augmenter, which increases the thrust with no moving parts. Basically, uses the exhaust heat to uh, produce more thrust with no extra fuel consumption. The engine is self starting. What that means is that you only need to provide a spark and turn on the fuel and the engine will fire right up. Most other types of pulse jets you need um, some kind of compressed air source to blow air into the intakes to get it to start up. But when we go to start it, you'll see just how easy it is. Now, on the spark plug we have a, a terminal connected to the Model T ignition coil over here. We just have a Model T ignition coil in a plastic box with a toggle switch to turn it on and off, and a, a car battery. You can use a, a small battery, but I just have a big one laying around, so I use that. And here we have the propane tank. We just have a, an old torch hose um, that screws into the tank, and to control the throttle, you just turn on the fuel valve, and um, that gives you decent control. You can use a smaller torch valve to give um, fine control for the small engines, but you really don't need anything. Um, what you want to avoid is uh, regulators for like barbecue grills, because those reduce the pressure to about 4 psi, and um, you really don't get enough flow to um, run an engine with. Okay, I'm going to start the engine up. All you have to do is flip on the switch to start the ignition coil and turn on the fuel. And we'll turn right on.